Welcome back to Sushimi's house. I'm your living host, Master so. Sushimi. We are in an elevator shaft, joined by uh, Bubby. Hello. In Horizon Forbidden West. Gaia. Let's finish this out. This is what will help heal plain song. It's hard to explain. How can I hear them so clearly? I, don't I barely know. understand it, but yeah, it's what Aloy's been looking for this whole time. Okay, I need to find where Minerva's hiding. I should look for a way to access the facility systems. All right, it would be I, great if everything weren't red. I know, that was a really shitty choice. Like, I know they're trying to be like, ooh, scary. It's not working, it's just obnoxious. Um, and I forgot that she was here trying to grab the thing that'll fix or get what? things started for... Whatever it was that we discovered when we discovered the other clone, we needed to come here. Right, because what we discovered was that we we were able to find a backup of Gaia, but without any of the subroutines. Yeah. Nope. Sorry, you're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. What are all those cape Minerva's shutting me out? No, oh, shutting down all the doors. Might be able to pull that open. Ooh, got some healing items. Nice. Good. Sweet. Okay. Left or right? Mm, left. You chose right, Bubby. Oh. You know we like to exhaust all I just tend to go we... left to right normally. That's fair. Kind of like reading. Apparently that's like a very common thing. Like people who are lost will go left. Be a way out of this shaft. Um, instead of right whenever they have the option to. Light. Yeah, oh, thank you, Jesus. Another part of the facility. Find the door open. Okay. Door is locked. Oh. Just kidding. Don't think I'm getting through that door right now. Oh, right now. I turn back. See what else I can find. Oh, just straight up turn back. Okay. So this was also a dead end. Weird. Yeah, honestly. How do I feel about that? Was I supposed to climb up here somewhere? Oh, nowhere to climb. No, okay. Weird. Back into the bad light. And back into the poor choices. Oh, wait. What? this. Well, I mean, you know, we didn't look up initially. Yeah. You're outside. Whoa. Okay. And I'm outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. Do we? Maybe I could look for a way We can just... The mountain. We can just hang out here. A well, beautiful we winter wonderland. We don't want to abandon our <laughs> I know, our I know. I know. <sighs> Close. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms, and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want it back up? Yeah. Obviously it won't be that easy. Something will be wrong with Minerva. Then you gotta go find Athena or some shit. Because that's the way it goes. Hold on. I just want to make sure... Give me these medicinal arms. Need that shit. Ugh, God. I can't help but feel like I have to go out and just, like, spend a day just harvesting plants. Maybe, yeah. Because, like, we've been low for, like, this entire recording session. And it's not like you don't pick shit up as you go along. Like, that's the worst part. Those rocks look loose. I think I can clear them. I thought it was a one-hit thing, not yeah. a hold. 
I like let go before I saw the prompt. Ah, another shaft. Boy, very close. Mm -hmm. Back in red. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Hmm. Big loop. It looks like some kind of dome. Wonder what it's for. It really was like a big old loop. But I managed to find Yeah. You no. Know, some goodies. And draw cut up. Cool. Oh. Boy, here we go. Yep. Fuck you. Mommy's here to penetrate. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah. Ella with the strap. Indeed. No! <laughs> Did it take the guy at Colonel with it? Minerva. I need the console. Denied. Why? It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. I can't believe we're gonna reason with the machine. Yeah, wild. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. I cease. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her. Like you used to be. I'm nervous just scared. Yeah. Let's cease. Yes. I mean, hopefully, if you do your part. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Yeah, let's figure it out. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Oh, nice! Hmm. We're, like, backing up Minerva to its, like, OG state. Good. Which means that it'll be in Gaia, like, correct. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, too bright. <laughs> She's just like, I hate this shit. <clears throat> Gaia. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. So very incomplete, but scanning data. Yeah, I don't have a doctorate. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Marie's of Rost. And her so big ass head. Alloy. Not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss. Damn, this is a very advanced AI. Yeah. Will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations. Oh, okay. So this Word? is our like come back to you place. Equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, that that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Thank you. Um. Okay, but don't overwhelm them. <laughs> be okay? cool, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things yeah. like. Yeah. Be cool. Well, you. Good news, she found a new goddess immediately. Uh, yeah, probably. So no fake this time? 
No. This time she's real. Borrell? So? This is Gaia. Hello. The closest thing to Hi. an actual Hi. god yeah. in this world, honestly. Gaia is still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. I wonder if we can manufacture more foci focuses. Probably. I'm sure. Good. I'm sure so uh, she can. Place? Sure, that's why she has so many. Yeah. She probably just kind of keeps them and again chooses, like, okay, you're somebody I trust and somebody that can make use of the focus. Here you go. And yeah. I'm sure she's got allies who she's like, I very much trust them. They would not be able to use the focus. There's also probably some allies that would become even more trustworthy with a focus in hand. That also is also true. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of Zoe's thing. Yeah, honestly. This is the break room. Okay. You know, no bathrooms that we've What's seen. All this? This was and they all collapsed first. <laughs> for you could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. I'm going to poke around a bit. Fair. Yeah. All right. That's the objective. Let's look around other first. Looks like an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private what a big offices. ass office. I guess it's nice to have <clears> a space <throat> to call you. I guess own. it's meant to accommodate like no less than four people working anyway. Uh, I immediately got turned around. So this place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. Why didn't they? Remember that guy oh, I told you they about? do have bathrooms. Oh, Before, hell yeah! He... sabotaged things. It wasn't supposed to be this way. What's this space for? Oh, they got, like, habitation facilities. For control center operatives. Oh, okay. Beds. Reminds me of the bed house after yeah, that's a much easier way to say the w the room. dumb thing I said. Showers. Nice. Wow. God, these people would lose their minds if they knew. About a shower, yeah. Warm water on demand. This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Ooh. Apollo database was destroyed. Oh, mm. so if we get Apollo up bad. in here, this could be, like, something yeah. useful again. Looks More like private office. office. If no one's ever been here, who built all this? Gaia did, with the help of machines. Yeah, I mean, before so the machines was, were bestial in nature. So they were, yeah. this was all meant to be here for, like, future generations, I guess? Yeah, presumably. Okay. So this was supposed to be the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how <coughs> to repair and complete the override. <coughs> I'll take a look. Thank you. Check out this terminal. Wait. Fabrication terminal. A herd machine. So you. Okay. Fanghorn override. You just make overrides? Over oh, we can make overrides. Uh. Oh, fuck. Wide maws. Remember those fuckers? Yeah. Yeah. No, the wide maws were hard. We can only make the fanghorn. Sure. Because you need, like, advanced components from all of them. Like, uh, yeah, plow horn. We would to, need like, three of off. the horns. We only got two and didn't, didn't actually pick up either. Them, yeah. We would also need the primary nerve. Same thing for scrappers. We would need uh, another radar and a uh, primary nerve. For wide maw, we need tusks and primary nerves, so we don't have shit. Well, I was able to repair some of the corrupted overrides. But it looks like I need data from more machine parts to fix the rest. My initialization is complete. 
You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. I mean, I think we explored most yeah, of it. Yeah, I was going to say, I think we're, we're... Oh, that's the elevator. Yeah, let's drop out of here. That's inevitably going to be what we're going to have to do when somebody shows up. Did we come up this way? Um, maybe? Something hey, Gaia? Like Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part mm. of this facility. So basically, not yet. Yeah, there's something over there that we can't get because of that. Got it. So there's going to be a hub. Yeah, this is your hub. This is our hub, Which straight is up. kind of very cool. That's where I first got into the facility. What's all this stuff for? This facility was designed to process an immense amount of data from the terraforming system. This is where it would have been stored. So what part does Minerva yeah. manage? Is it the terraforming? You have now I guess. All accessible rooms of the facility. Oh, uh, that's nice of them to let you know, like, you've done all the exploring you can do right now. Anything else you find, not accessible. Yeah, that's true. Thank you, game. There are still, like, Thank several you. valuable resources. Thank you, Gaia, for being so smart. Oh, no good. Door's locked until Gaia can restore access. Oh, wait. Remember we were like, oh, there's yeah. a... That. Uh, yes, I'll wait here. Yeah, you will. Oh. Code. You don't got a code. Need a code for that. Okay. Good to know, though, that that door is code driven, not just power driven. It's a long code too. Do you see that? Yeah. It was like not your usual four digit. Eight characters. Yeah. There you are. Should we keep looking around? Nah. Yeah, I think we're done here. Um, us. Wait, I think this might be how we got in here, like originally. All right, let's let's move on to the end of this. You st you gotta start getting ready for. Our yeah, I I out. told our friend to let me know when there when he's on his way, cause if not, like I'm just not even gonna know if he's here or not. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Time to. Maybe it's cheeks. time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. All right, Gaia, make this quick, please. <laughs> Gaia, Gaia, please. <laughs> Hello, Aloy. Hi, Gaia. Uh, hi. So you're. Ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. I sure do. Yeah. But two big ones first. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others yeah. now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Aluthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. Oh, wow. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. God, are we gonna have to, like, visit different con continents? Possibly. It, too, stands revealed. But it is not like the others. Oh, I thought we were with Hephaestus. I guess That's this was all Minerva. Sure. No, yeah, this was the Minerva facility. Hephaestus has just corrupted it. Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. That makes sense. When well, we were, like, overriding here, it said, like, it was retreating to the cloud network. Its capabilities are essential. 
Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. You have to do the others and then go to Hephaestus. Yeah. Hephaestus, Hephaestus is probably going to be one of the last ones. After my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab Makes the sense. other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. Okay, makes sense. Okay. Can do. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one makes sense, subordinate yeah. function yep. at a time. Yeah, so you get one, bring it back. Hey, Gaia, could you please make some copies suffice. of yourself? For yeah, go God. ahead and make copies of yourself now. I need, I need some, like, we read subordinate Yeah. Functions. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay. I mean, that makes sense. That's that is honest. pretty much what it was. The did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated. We're dealing with aliens? I guess. It appears to have originated. 81 trillion kilometers away. Humans that got to get come off of Earth? Perhaps. Because was, wasn't, wasn't that a thing? Like, they were talking of yeah, getting Yeah, they some... set that up in, like, the first the 10 minutes of this uh, game. Years to cross it. Oh. Okay, so... What's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless. Didn't. Uh, I don't. Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? So are they like are you humans who have come from, from... Toja? Yeah. 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 That's wild. Far seen it. Every like yes. four hours this game has a major twist. Yeah. Which is why their shit literally looked like more alien technology. Um, okay. The three subordinate functions that you detected. What do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Okay, yeah. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to the meter, me, might be might have to be priority if possible. Yeah. Heuristic processing density. But beware, their responses to my query pattern were irregular. That makes sense. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Exactly how Minerva was. With Minerva. Yeah. They need to be whole again. Exactly. about the missing boys the missing subordinate functions what can you tell me about them 
Nah, they weren't too important, important. It's fine. With a variety of animal species, Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066. Oh, so Apollo's Pharaoh. basically dead? Yeah. Pharaoh, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. <laughs> he appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design... Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, he's the, the master craftsman. Yeah. ...across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Yeah. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass That's, extinction. Yep. Totally makes sense. Given Hephaestus's importance, is there really no way to capture? She already told first? you this, dude. Yeah. I'm afraid that is quite impossible. You smell chicken, or am I imagining that? No, I'm also smelling chicken, and that's weirding me out. I am Are our parents home? I didn't see the garage alert. Maybe, maybe mom left something on the pot. Of my intended process. I hope not, because we've been up here for almost three hours. Yeah. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me. Rather than the other way around. Oh, we definitely don't a want that. Which cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density gotcha. exceeds its own. Basically, and how many support has gotten is too that big for its bridges. Yeah. Merging Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity, exceeding that of Hephaestus. Okay. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions, which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. Fair enough. So once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain. God, this is a deep well. In terms yeah. of questioning, it's like the same one that I keep yes. tapping. Yeah. And to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out. It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth human life above all so yes once i have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, i could design build and command such an army given the nature of the far zenith threat doing so may be our only option i must admit however that i have misgivings about using such technology to kill no matter how aggressive the enemy i mean that's fair that's but good. it means you have a conscience as Elizabeth intended. Indeed. Oh God. Yeah, we have so like ten minutes to get ready. To by the way, our friend's the already on his way. <laughs> Why would I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I'm this glad we have the information, but it's so much. <laughs> yeah. Pose no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless. Well. Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? 
The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that. If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power until she could take control of Hephaestus. And then the whole terraforming system. Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere to their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Mm -hmm. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. God damn. You said serious. It's just so dense. Really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers. Or 8.611 light years. I mean, they have FTL? So mm -hmm, maybe. How would Probably. the descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster. A mere 13 years, or 0. 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proven Lab, they... They had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, the clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. Yeah, pretty much. But mm -hmm. How could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could I mean, she if she was, like, born and bred into this... Yeah. Yeah. Destroying Elizabeth's dream? I mean, brainwashing it's, sounds like a like an over-the-top term, but even if she was just raised from childhood Actually, yeah, so it's not even brainwashing, it's just knowing the... ...shares their objectives. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to... Like, she just doesn't orders. know what the hell she's Sobeck, right from wrong. So this is just, like, her life. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? What was Hades' original function? This myself. So far as just I to, can like, tell, process, decayed... I guess. To other yeah, I feel like they've not really told us that, which maybe they did in the first game, and so we don't know that. So but yeah, that's true. here we've definitely not been told. Knowledge of the system, huh? Yes, the signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes, as your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates. Yeah, that was wild. to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, Every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. Yeah, makes okay, sense. Fair. Hope. Always. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus, from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. 
You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. So it would have, the signal, yeah, years to get back. had to make a round mm -hmm. trip. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting. Yeah. After a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. Interesting. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. I think this is actually the, the last question, which yeah. is my good. Predecessor's destruction is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. So it's still working, just not Not the way we want it to. <laughs> if you can return Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me... If you can do what the plot tells you to do, then I will plot. Stop asking dumbass I will plot along. Weather will improve. Water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. And then you need Hephaestus to, only yep, we've, Hephaestus yep. I, design and produce I, I feel you, Gaia. I mean, to be fair, Gaia is only being this repetitive because... We've asked the questions, Our That's line fair. of questioning is kind of repetitive. Yeah. All right, oh God. let's get stuck. Oh, how long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors, the biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. Not long. Yeah, not long. And if long. I gather Ether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Jeez. Wow. Every bit counts. All right. Uh, let's my, get started. My God, I, guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. Air makes sense. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. So probably some more cauldrons. Ether right. Is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However. It appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of, of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was interesting. <laughs> a ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. <laughs> Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Of course, that's the one okay. that I was like, that seems most so important. Yeah. Subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory. Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Oh, oh wow, they give you levels. I guess we're going to have to go with yeah, Aether. That's go the Aether. level we are. I think I'll head for Aether. 
then I will assign ether as the objective on your focus. That makes sense, because they have to give you an objective, because again, you can only collect one of them at a time anyway, because you're going to have to come back It would back also be here. wild if they were all the same level of difficulty to obtain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it well, offers I know. permanently. I mean, it would be interesting, like, if they were all the same level to begin with, and then, of course, like, as you pick the first one, the like other bumped. two went up, and then if you pick the next one, the other one went up. You know that, what I mean? That is probably how I would play it if I were developing this game but yeah. you know yeah not 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 us yeah i also have to pee super bad gaia so like a lot of what you said is very interesting i'm not gonna lie i'm still very interested in this game which why we've been quiet for most of this but holy shit i don't know it's just that what Elizabeth were we holding we were just holding a thing and then it disappeared it dream for you for life on earth and a lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in wow. Yeah. And <laughs> I think Wars. Zobek had a bit of a god complex. You will prevail Maybe. In this. Thank you, Kaya. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. They probably gotta go drop off Zoe or figure it out. Whoa. Gonna have to get used to that. That's you, Aloy? Uh... Yeah. Guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. All right. Does that, that auto save at all? I sure hope so. But that feels like a good stopping it place. It sure does. What the fuck is this? We'll lower it to. Huh? I don't know. Oh, it looked like a platform to lower. Never Gaia. mind. Just kidding. What is this? It is a control console. For a drone-based imaging system connected to this dome. I will transmit the relevant data to your focus. Yeah, please do. Oh. So this Cyclops is a network of drones to monitor the deteriorating biosphere conditions. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but the drones aren't connected anymore. If I find the drones out in the wilds... Okay, so that's another, like, bit of side okay. stuff to do. Use it to reconnect them and... Restore the display. Presumably make this look very different. All right, I'm not gonna to go to that door because that will almost certainly yeah, drag that's us gonna into throw us into another guy. <laughs> Woo! I mean, this is exciting. It's it's yeah. a hell of a story that's like really, really unfurling before us. Uh, so like, if we sound a little bit snippy, I, I promise it's not about that. Yeah, it's, it's just, just the we, timing. <laughs> yeah, there we have a deadline. It's getting hot, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, yeah. But regardless of all of those things, thank you so much for joining us here at Tsushimi's house. As always, I've been your loving host, Master Tsushimi. We've had Bobby on the mic. Hi. If you like what you saw, make sure you like these videos as you go along. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you get videos in your sub box. Uh, and ding that bell so you get a notification when they do drop in there. Beyond that, there's also my Twitter, at Master Tsushimi, where I like to tweet fun stuff about video games, the occasional meme here and there. Most importantly, pup dates. Updates about my pup, Mr. President, a.k.a. Theodore Roosevelt, a.k.a. Teddy. Second, most importantly, I tweet when and what I'll be streaming over at twitch.tv slash MasterSushimi. As of the time of this recording, uh, we've been working through Elden Ring. I think I mentioned it earlier on. It's been a real hoot and a holler. Uh, we have officially beaten Godric, so that's fun. Uh, and, you know, I did a little bit of grinding recently, so I'm about level 61 with only Godric under my belt. So I think the rest of the game is going to be uh, a little more manageable for yeah. me. So go check it out. If you already have done these things that I've mentioned or checked out that stream as I requested, first and foremost, thank you so, so much. It means the world to me. But also, make sure you share it with friends, share it with family, share it with foes, really anybody who you think would be into it, because we want to grow as a community, we want to be loud and proud here at Tsushimi's house, and the best way to do that is going to be through your word of mouth. So, with that being said, thank you so, so much once again for joining me. I'll see you in the next video, set of videos, or stream as is appropriate, and in the meantime, I hope you take good, good care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You gotta know you're in for something special You gotta feel it in your bones 
Oh, you're gonna find what you need all the time If you're looking for it, na-na-na-na-na-na If you're looking for it